What's up guys? It is Carly here bringing you day 20 of my 31 days for 2021 and today we are going to be talking about an interesting film by the name of Angst from the year 1983. Um, this is one that I believe uh, Brandon Orlick from you know Exploding Heads podcast sent me probably a year ago at this point. Um, he sent me a bunch of movies just out of the kindness of his heart because um, I I think I won a con yeah I won something on their show and he took a long time to send it out so he felt he had to send me like 10 movies as repayment which he didn't have to do at all but I'm kind of glad he did because most of the movies he sent were winners in my book I've watched the majority of them and uh, this one is no exception so essentially this is based on a true story um, I didn't get the time to look up the true events uh, after watching it really but there is like this cool little book inside of the thing here um little booklet and uh, it actually has stuff about the movie and uh there's some news articles i believe um you know on the actual case and such so uh definitely need to look into that um a lot of it i believe this is german if i'm not mistaken so um you know, a lot of it's in a different language, but then they kind of um, write on the other side the English version, so that's cool. Um, but anyway, the movie essentially is following this uh, main guy. I forget what his name even is in the film. I don't even know if they say his name, but uh, like I said, it's based on true events anyway. And he, um, I believe he is released from prison, but he still, he, he still has a lot of mental issues and the whole movie is basically narrated by him where he is um kind of talking about how he just has urges to kill people and it really excites him and it's kind of like a sexualized excitement um it's it's just a very messed up thing where he's basically like you know they let me out but they didn't train me to be any better so i'm just gonna go do what I did once again and that's what he does. Uh, he ends up breaking into this house in the middle of nowhere and uh, there's an older woman, her uh, younger daughter, um, probably you know in her late 20s, early 30s or so, and um, her son who is paralyzed and he seems to be a little bit slow. Uh, he doesn't really talk so he's in a wheelchair. Um, he breaks in, they all come home and of course he attacks them and does horrible things to them but uh, as it goes on it's kind of like he's saying how it didn't go the way he wanted it to and he had this like perfect plan of how he wanted everyone to be tortured and he wanted them all to watch each other and he wanted just all this horrible stuff and it, it happened too fast and he wasn't happy with it so kind of just goes from there um yeah i thought this movie was very good uh very mesmerizing film uh super disturbing uh just the whole narration of this main guy is very very disturbing and creepy and it, it just feels super realistic to how a killer would be um like i said i i wish i didn't get the chance to read up on the true story um i know it actually happened where these three people were victims and were killed by a guy but I don't know um, all the details on the killer himself, so I'd be curious to look that up afterwards, but main guy did a great job. Um, there's like this score throughout that's just very, uh, again, like I said, mesmerizing, uh, hypnotic. There's a lot of scenes where it's just him kind of doing stuff. There's like no dialogue or anything. You just kind of see him sort of walking around the house or cleaning up his mess afterwards or just trying to escape the premises and um you know it sounds like that's not a lot going on but with the score and everything it just very much drags you in and i thought that was really good um the movie's not overly like it doesn't show too much um there are some scenes with some blood but it's not over the top with the violence and torturesque elements um because again, he was unhappy with how it happened. He felt it happened too fast. So um, you don't really get any drawn out scenes like that. Because that's why I thought this was going to be just a home invasion film where a guy breaks in and torments these people the whole time. But that's not necessarily all you're getting. Um, you know, you're getting the beforehand and then the after the fact as well. So um, just very intriguing the way the movie's done. And I, I thought it was very, very well done. So yeah, I would recommend this to people that you know like these sort of I guess serial killer movies um it almost reminded me 
well, I guess, you know, the Golden Glove that came out a year or two ago, um, it kind of felt similar to that in aspects, and then it feels kind of like Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer, um, all those good, you know, classic serial killer movies, um, uh, this, uh, definitely fits in with those pretty well. Um, you know, it might be a little slower than those, but it only runs like 87 minutes, so it doesn't overstay its welcome at all. Um, I think they get in and get out with their point right away. So, originally I gave this an 8.5, but now that I've talked about it, um, I really don't have too many problems with it, so I would actually give this a solid 9 out of 10. So yeah, definitely recommend Angst, um, if these are the movies you're into, you know, this, um, isn't one, I was kind of putting this one off because I thought it was going to be depressing, and around Halloween time, I prefer to watch more fun, um, horror films, uh, not necessarily lighthearted, but just, you know, just, uh, cheesy, maybe fun time ones that you can just turn off your brain with, and this one is definitely on the darker side, uh, there's not really any happy moments in this, but, you know, uh, other than that, I, did, I still recommend it because it's a solid film. So, 9 out of 10 for Angst 1983. Thank you guys once again for joining me here for day 20 of my 31 Days of Horror 2021. And I'll see you tomorrow for day 21.